Hello, rail fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be doing another train from the Philippines here, and we're going to be doing it in the one-to-one -one scale. And we're going to be building this one-to-one -one scale LRTA 2000 class Megatrain. And as you can see, we have built this train before in the larger full scale here. So I built it right next to it so you can see the differences between the two scales here. So this is what it looks like. So let's get right into the build here. So to start off, we're gonna come where the very front of our train's gonna be. And we're gonna crouch and we're gonna put an inward facing dragon head on each rail. Then we need to take polished deep slate slab and get one in between them on the upper hitbox and then another one sticking off the front. Behind it, we're going to do a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then on the upper hitbox, a 3x3 of polished deep slate slabs and another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we'll put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels here. Then behind this we're going to skip one block backwards so there's a gap of space and two rows of three polished deep slate walls. Skip another block backwards and a three by three of chiseled polished black stone. Skip another block backwards behind that and we're going to do a three by three of sideways observers. Then we'll skip another block backwards and a three by three of chiseled polished black stone again. So from the side here, all of these should have one block of space between them. Then we'll come behind here, skip one block backward again, get a set of netherite wheels on each rail with an end rod axle. Then a three by three of polished deep slate slabs on the upper hitbox, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels. Then behind this, we need to leave a gap of three blocks and get on this fourth block out. So there's a space of three here. And do a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle on the fourth block out. Then a three by three of polished deep slate slabs on the upper hitbox. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. And then a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four of these wheels here. Now behind this, skip one block back and do three polished deep slate walls. Skip another block back with a gap of space between it, three sideways observers, so it looks like this. Then skip another block of space and we're gonna do a three by seven of chiseled polished black stone. Then leave a gap of space again three sideways observers, gap of space, three polished deep slate wall. So there's a gap of space between there on each one. Then skip one more block back, leaving a gap of space, a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle, a three by three of polished deep slate slabs on the upper hitbox, and a final set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four of these wheels here. Then take polished deep slate slabs and we need to get on the upper hitbox in the center here and two right here in the middle. Then we're going to come between these two trucks up here on the upper hitbox and get three slabs across this middle gap here like that. Now come up front above where these dragon heads are and we'll put two rows of three light gray concrete. Then we're going to put a skeleton skull on each of the bottom corners here. Above this three black concrete and then we're going to grab polished andesite stairs and put three of them across the top here. Then we're going to come behind this on this second layer and we're going to start filling this whole thing in three wide with light gray concrete and bringing it back. And just keep it coming here. We're going to 
come one block past this truck and in this middle, centered between these two trucks here, we're going to put three polished black stone brick walls right here. And then go back to light gray concrete, three wide, and start bringing that all the way down the second half to the back. And just keep it coming here. We're going to come one block past these back wheels, and on the very back, we're going to do three polished black stone brick walls right here. And then we'll come back up front here. In this corner, a light gray concrete and a black concrete above it. Then at the back of this first section here, we're going to do a two block tall and four block wide U shape like this. Skip a block another of these U-shapes. Skip a block, another one. Skip a block, another one. Skip a block, another one. And then a two by two of light gray concrete in this gap. Then we're gonna fill in these columns between here. I was just using that to measure out with light gray. Then fill these all with two black concrete because this is where our windows will end up being. Then we're just going to come to this side of it and copy our pattern of light gray concrete directly across here. And then come back through and fill all these gaps with black concrete for the windows one up in this corner here. Then we're going to come and work on this second car over here. But first, fill this with polished black stone brick walls in that gap. Then we'll do another of our four block tall U-shapes here. Skip one, another one. Skip one, another one. Skip one, another one. Skip one, another one and then skip one and one more right here then same thing we're going to come through here and we'll fill all these columns in between them with light gray like i said that was just to measure out where the windows would be and then we'll fill all these gaps with black concrete for the windows Then we'll come to this side, go back to light gray, and just copy our pattern of light gray concrete directly across. Then fill all these gaps with black concrete for the windows. Then we'll come down to the rear end and cover this rear end three wide with polished black stone brick wall here. And we'll actually raise it up one more above here and then we'll put three walls across this gap one more higher. Then we'll come on top and we're going to come up each outside edge with a full line of yellow concrete. Right down to this wall here. Then skip over the wall and same thing on this front section a full line of yellow concrete up each side of the top. Then we're going to take out light gray wool and do a full line of wool right down the center here. Then skip over this and same thing on the back section, a full line of light gray wool right down the center. Just like that. And now our basic shape is done and we'll start adding details. We're going to come above this third window back from the front and put two deep slate tile slabs on either side, two polished diorite slabs in the center, and a 3x3 three three in front of it. In front of that, three light gray carpet, three light gray carpet across the front, and fill this gap with iron trap doors. Then we'll move back above this second window from the back. A deep slate tile slab, two of them on each side, polished diorite slabs in the center, three by three in front. 
three light gray carpet here and here, and fill this with iron trap doors in the middle. Then three light gray carpet here, three at the back, and fill this gap with iron trap doors as well. Then on this next section back, we're gonna put three light gray carpet across here. Behind it in the middle, a sideways acacia fence gate. Behind that, an iron trap door on the upper hip box, and then another acacia fence gate. And for the rest of this fanograph, we need temporary blocks, so I'm gonna put two here, like that. And then we're gonna come forward by one here. And then we'll come up two right here and back one. Then we'll add two more across like this. Put three fence gates up here. Take out these two blocks. Up here, we're gonna put two fence gates like this and then open them into each other. Then down under here, we'll put one fence gate here, open it this way. Then down here, we'll put two more fence gates and we'll open these ones into each other. And then we can take out all of these temporary blocks and then the fence gates make the pantograph. Trying something new here. So that's what this new pantograph design looks like here. And then we're gonna take out light gray carpet and put three on each side of this. Then we have to do all the vents on top like on the other car, so take out deep slate tile slab. And we're gonna skip to this second window back behind the pantograph. So above the third window in from the front of the car. And same as before, we're gonna put two deep slate tile slabs on either side of the top, two polished diorite slabs in the middle, and a three by three in front. Then three light gray carpet here, and a three by three of iron trap doors here. Then we're gonna come back here above the second window from the back same thing, two deep slate tile slabs on either side, two polished die right in the middle, three by three in front. Then three light gray carpet here, three here, iron trap doors in this middle gap. Come to the back, three light gray carpet here, three on the end, and then fill this with iron trap doors. And now all our roof detailing is done here, and we have a lot of banner work to do. So we're going to come into a loom with a purple banner, light gray dye, and put a horizontal on the top and bottom. Then we're going to do a light gray banner, purple dye, horizontal on bottom, go to yellow dye, and a yellow horizontal on top. And we'll place these ones. So these ones with the yellow go across the front like this, and then the one with just purple, one on each side like this. Now we'll come in with a yellow banner and light gray dye. We'll make the top half light gray, go to yellow dye, put a vertical on the left. Then we'll make the bottom half light gray, and go back to yellow dye and a horizontal in the middle so it looks like this. And then we need to make that exact same banner again, except going the opposite way, so the vertical will be on the right this time. So they have these two banners with opposite L shapes. Then we'll come here, this one goes right here, and the opposite one goes on this side here. Now we'll come back in, this time, with a black banner and light gray dye. We're gonna make the bottom half light gray, switch to purple, and put a purple horizontal on the bottom. New black banner, light gray dye, put a border on, then this plus shape, make the bottom half light gray, and then put a horizontal purple on the bottom. And we'll come place these. This one that had the plus shape is for the doors, and we're gonna come through and put these in the very center of all these three block wide gaps between the windows, centered on each one. And that's where all the doors will be. And then of course we have to do the same thing on this other side. So same thing, come all the way through and center them in between all these gaps. Then these other ones go wherever black concrete is for the windows. 
and that will continue our purple stripe under all the windows here. And just come through and put that anywhere there's black concrete. And then of course we have to do the other side. Same thing, anywhere there's black concrete, put these banners. Just like that. Then we'll grab a light gray banner and we'll come back into our loom and put a horizontal purple stripe on the bottom of it. And this is for the rest of these gaps to continue our purple stripe. So just come back through anywhere there's a gap, put this banner so the stripe comes all the way along the side here. Just like that. And then come over here and we'll do the same thing on this side anywhere there's a gap. Put this banner on to continue the purple stripe. Just like that. And this completes the build for the single control car and first coach car here. So once we have both of these done, what we need to do next is use the structure command to copy in or just build another set of these, except this one's facing the opposite direction, flip the other way, so that we end up with another cap facing this way on this end. So it has a cap car on each end, two coach cars in the middle. And on this back end, the pantograph's facing the opposite way, so make sure you flip both of those cars. So the whole train looks like this. And there we have it, folks. This completes our tutorial for our one-to-one -one scale LRTA2 2000 class Megatron. I hope everyone enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.